only chance. Don't don't screw this up, guys. <laughs> National Coffee Milkshake Day. We are here at Kappa Espresso in Irving. And we have Victor and Mimi. And we are drinking coffee with Kyle. Kyle. Cheers. Yay. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 So, so what, are, what are you actually drinking? I'm having some cold brew with some oat milk. Nice. Delicious. Right. Wait, wait, so, some what milk? Oat and milk. That's in uh, your milkshake too. Oats. Well, well, we all know my milkshake brings the boys to the yard. Mm -hmm. That's not <laughs> but oat milk? Yeah. I didn't know oats made milk. I didn't know. Like so you almonds, much, like, yeah. Just like the. I didn't know that oats had nipples. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Uh, but I didn't know. I didn't know oats had nipples. You listen to the every day. Only a certain seasons, certain months. What are you guys the most obsessed about? Like literally psyched about in your professional careers? Two words. Each. Psyched about? Yeah, in two words. The hustle. The, the hustle. hustle. The community. The but community. <laughs> Hustle, community, we got it all. We, we got, got it all, all. here. Like, just, just, just like in the show right now, just yep. come to Kappa because Take we got Hustle and community here. Like what else do you need to hear? And coffee, of course. And oat milk. And coffee. <laughs> like why Hustle? Um, Cause it's, it's just, it's all up to you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's um, you know, every day it's like, it's up to you to hustle and grind. To, to, to make the best out of it and you know uh, I mean it sounds cliche but it is sky is the limit though, right you make if, your own if, luck if you're doing your hustle you, and, hustle you know yeah for sure so if, I mean if if your hustle is down there then that's, that's what you get to stay mm -hmm. you know whenever you hustle you grind it out you all your ideas become executed if you're, you don't do that hustling then that, that idea is just still an idea it's still in the air it's still in the notebook, just a word. And then whenever you hustle it out, it's like, hey, I made it into something, like an object. I made it into something. What's cool is that we see the fruit of the hustle. Mm -hmm. Now tell us how the community got involved after the hustle. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just, I think whenever we first started, we are just like, where is everybody? But at that moment, we got to like showcase everyone, like how we, how we are, our personality, who we are mm -hmm. as just people, individuals. And then gradually that community started growing a little bit more and then we're just kind of like coming in, people coming in up the stairs, we're like, hey, how's it going? Even if they're not here for coffee. So that, you know, just reaching out and saying, hey, what's up? How's your day going? They know like, oh, they kind of, they're interested. They want yeah. me. And I'm like, yeah, we don't want you guys just to have coffee. We just want to have yeah. a conversation because we're, we're here all alone. We just want to get to know you and who you are. So, uh for our viewers that aren't aware, kind of explain to us, like you're in Irving, you're in this church, <laughs> you're a coffee shop that's not owned by the church, but you somehow are part of the church with the hustle in the community. Like, yeah, so what does Irving, Kappa mean? What, what, what does, does that mean? mean to you guys? So we came up with the name because it was just like Kappa. So we think like, I mean, I, um, the real term Kappa is like tea. A over in, tea. Um, yeah, but um, so <laughs> a, cup, a cup of coffee, a cup of latte, a cup of milkshake. So, but yeah, we came with couple because it was just, catchy, just yeah, it, it can go with everything, you know. Yeah. How did y'all get brought into what church is this again? Irving Bible Church. Irving Bible Church. So, how did this all come to pass? How did it come to be, and how are you still here? Okay, so um, in 2000, like beginning uh, end of 2009, beginning of 2010, um, I had came down here from Wichita, Kansas, and um, pretty much my um, I had uh, my cousin uh, who was married to uh, her uh, ex-husband at the time. They had um, coffee shops called America's Best Coffee, and uh, it was in um, Arlington and then uh, one in Mansfield. Uh, their roaster at the time was looking to sell the business because he was um, going back to, uh, he was planning on going back to Hawaii to help his dad with his business. Mm. So um, they were like, hey, well, you want to come down here and, you know, uh, and check it out since I already liked coffee, you know, so they, they, uh, they were pretty much trying to help the guy to see if he could find another uh, buyer for the business. Um, so I came down, I shadowed the guy, his name is Aaron. Um, I shadowed him for a couple months. Uh, he taught me, you know, the ins and outs of coffee. Um, and pretty much, I ended up taking over the coffee shop. And um, he, at the time, he owned this shop in here, oh. right? And uh, but he was so he was roasting for different accounts, different um, uh, shops, uh, churches, and everything. 
And um, so I, I've been roasting. So when I took over the business, I was roasting for um, for them. I was delivering to this house. At the time, it was called um, The Mosaic. And um, it was just, you know, we were, I was buying them coffee for about, all the way up to 2015. And then um, I had reached out to the, the owner at the time, which was, uh, so Aaron sold it to um, Josh, which was uh, the manager at the time here. And I just asked him, hey, are you ever interested in selling the coffee shop? You know, and um, he, he was like, no, nah, not at the moment, you know, but like six months later, he, he reached out and said, hey, are you still interested? And then that's when I reached out to Mimi. It was crazy timing. It was like six months prior to that, it was like, I was trying to get into grad school, nothing works. And I was just really, really trying. And six, that six months was like, oh, that's probably never gonna happen. But six months later, it's crazy how that fast that was. And I was like, okay, ready for change. Let's yeah. get this happening. Caffeinated questions. Caffeinated questions. All right, with so Kyle. Caffeinated questions. So this or that, short, sweet answer, mm -hmm. no going sideways. Uh, Victor, would you rather be a genius in a world full of morons or a moron in a world full of geniuses? Genius. Mimi, John Mayer, or John Fogarty? John Mayer. Victor, audiobooks or physical books? None. <laughs> you got, you got to Audio books. Audiobooks. Audiobooks. <laughs> because I don't like reading. <laughs> I'm with you. Would you rather be stuck in an endless parade or be stuck around endless fireworks? Endless fireworks. Endless Victor, would you rather live one 1,000 year lifetime or 10 100 year, year lifetimes? Oh, one. 1,000 year lifetime. Would you rather save an entire planet or discover a new planet to inhabit? Discover. You could drink coffee with anybody that you could do business with. Oh my gosh. And we could tag them or they are another business that you've been wanting to do business with. Mm -hmm. Who would that be? Why? And what would you talk about? And how would that conversation go? Oprah. Hala. Because she's just a... Oh. <laughs> She's just a genius. She's a genius. She has all planes covered, so I want to learn from that. <laughs> Sorry, every time I hear Oprah, all I can think about is <laughs> you get an ISD. Yeah. You get an ISD. Yeah. Yes. Oprah. I, I think of Chappelle show. Have you seen that one? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oprah when he was married to Oprah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I yeah. love it. So Oprah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Elon um, Musk. Elon Musk. Oh, that's simple. What, yeah. what would you talk about to Elon about? About everything. I mean, I just like to pick his brain. You know, yeah. just uh, I don't know. He's he's he he uh, out of like all the billionaires and everything. He I don't know. I I, I vibe with that guy. He's just, I, I like how everything is with him. You you drink you don't drink the first coffee with him on Mars. Yeah. Yeah. I'd want to go on that the, that roaster of his. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some Martian coffee. Yeah. Okay. So final drop. Thank you guys so much for being on our show. Thank you. Um, we we'll look forward to what you guys are doing next. Maybe what? Maybe open a place called Supper and start serving dinner. Yeah. Right? Oh! <laughs> that was good. I did not see that coming. Wow, he's got a tiger by the tail. This one. Yeah. So, uh. final job. Floor is yours. Um, this is your chance to uh, tell our audience anything that's on your mind. Yeah. Throw a challenge out there, or just you know talk about the community and why people should come to Cupa. Well, let me see here. I'll, I guess I'll start with why come to Kappa. Um, we're inside of Irving Bible Church and uh, a lot of times people just think like, oh, it's inside of a church. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's it's not that kind of vibe. You know, mm -hmm. it's um, not only do we serve great coffee in our customer service, uh, which is our main thing, um, Irving Bible Church in a whole, mm -hmm. you know, we um, there's everybody is always invited here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, whether you don't go to church, you do go to church here, they have um, health care clinics on uh, Wednesdays. Um, uh, recording studios you can rent out um, and just uh, this the whole place you can just work sit around home. work and it's like a free we workplace you know mm. so yeah. come by just, and get to just know come us. by and check we'll it out let's get to know you and then see what we fun. Mm -hmm. nice very cool and what was the favorite song you just picked out in the movie yeah what was it what was the favorite song elevate my drink elevate <laughs> elevate <laughs> i play it in your heads and just dance it out i guess hey Elevate. Elevate. <laughs> Elevate. Only obligation right, we'll is to tell it straight. So much on my plate, I gotta delegate. We gotta 